Hello everyone and welcome to Cherub Teaching Center. My name is Poonam and I'm a Google Certified Educator. In today's episode, I'm going to train you on making flowchart using Google Drawings. This is in continuation to the part one where I trained you how you people can go ahead and how you people can create effective images. Okay, so let's start over people. We do require flowchart and flowchart is an essential requirement whether you are preparing a presentation during your education or you are there in the corporate sector sometime you people have to prepare a flowchart so this Google drawings can be used as a platform for making the flowcharts as well and that is what I'm going to train you today so people what you have to do is that you need to access Google drawings and for that what you people can do is you can go ahead type in in the Google search bar Google drawings and you can click on the link over there or this is also accessible through Google Drive okay or you can go ahead and type in the URL docs.google.com forward slash drawings and you will be able to access this Google drawing as a platform so the moment you access this platform since this is in that link sync with the Google Drive whatever editing you people are going to do it that's automatically is going to saved in the Google Drive moreover this once your flowchart is ready you can easily integrate into all the Google Docs like the Google Doc if I talk about the Google Sheet etc okay so let's go about people so whenever you people are going to create a flowchart first and foremost you might be needing you know certain boxes so whenever you people have to create a boxes you have to click on this shape option and then you people can select this shape of your own choice just for practice purpose I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this so once this box is over here in case if you would like to change the color of the box that could be done by this thing which is fill color you can move ahead and you people can create or choose the color of the box depending upon your requirement and not only that people you can also format this box so if you would like to format it what you people can do is here you need to click on this three dots you will go to the format options and once you go to the format option you can you know drag it down and you can click on drop shadow the moment you will click on drop shadow people you can see that my box is now giving a shadow appearance altogether and in case if you need a reflection you can put a check marks in this block and then you will be able to give a reflection of your own box also okay and once you are done with that people you can go ahead and you can type in your content over here just for the practice purpose what I'm going to do is so if I've written over here a and then I would like to go ahead with more options let me just go close those formatting options down I would like to align it and I would like to put it in the center so you would go into the line you will click on the a alright now since we are creating a flow chart I would the next thing that I would like to introduce it over here would be an arrow okay so in case if you need an arrow what exactly you people can do it you can go about in the shapes and then you will go to the arrow option you can create an arrow over here okay alright so this is how you people will create an arrow or you can create an arrow okay once the arrow box is ready so you can go ahead and then I will create another box see people whichever arrow you need that's totally depend upon your own choice because even in case if I talk about that you need some other options like if you need you know specific an elbow connector because sometimes what happens is um, sometime you know when I'm creating this um, flow chart I might need an elbow connector so what I can do is I can you know straight away I can go ahead and this is how I can design my elbow connector okay and even what you people can do is you can go about right you can select it and then I can make the lines weight thick or thin okay let's say I have chosen it to four points at this moment right okay all right and this is line a uh, line start lined in when you need other things so even we do have formatting option over here if you need a drop shadow for this you can go ahead you can click over this option okay and the next thing that I would like to do it is let's say that I would like to introduce another shape 
So what I can do is I can go to the things over here and this time let's say that I need a circle. So what I can do is I can create a circle over here. Okay. I can put the things over here in case if I would like to change the color just to give it a different appearance. What I can do is I can put the things over here. Okay. Alright. And the next thing is again if you want to do the formatting option. So I can go ahead and I can click on the drop shadow option. Okay. Alright. And not only that, what exactly as I've said, there is not only one single connector, there are other things which are available as well. And as I've already highlighted people, this all depends upon your choice because sometimes what happens is when I'm creating a flow chart that has to meet certain things. And do you know what is the beauty of using this um, Google drawing is, let's say when I'm creating a flow chart and while constructing, you know, the flow chart, I need an image to be inserted into this particular flowchart item as well. What I can go ahead is I can go about and I can add the image over here. All right. Again, if you already have the image in your computer, you people can go about, you can populate that image over here. But if not, you can search the image from the web also. Otherwise, you do have an option of drive the photos and you can go it by URL or in case if you have clicked it through the camera. So let's say that I'm going to search the images over here and this is automatically going to search the images in the Google bar. Okay, so let's say that I would like an image of the switch treat plant plant. I'm just taking an example. Okay, you can select it. All right. Okay, so let's say I go with this particular image. And then I would like to insert it. So my image is there. I need to fit my image. Let me fit it in. And then I can adjust the image over here. Okay. So this way so you can make your diagram more effective people. So it's it's not only one thing actually. You can, you know, use this particular option for a variety of things. So let's say in case the next thing that I would like to do it over here is. Okay. So this is a garbage truck. Okay. So I can first of all choose the image of my own choice. Let me go with this particular image. I'm going to insert it. And so I can make my images, you know, more effective. I can put my image over here. Okay. And later on I can adjust the image also. See. So this is the beauty of using a Google diagram. You people can go about and you people can make your, uh, you know, the thing is very very effective the flowcharts can be made very effective by using Google drawing and once this thing is ready you can go about you can save it it's automatically getting actually saved in the Google Drive which can be further incorporated or in integrated into other documents so uh, people this is the way that you people can go about it and in case if you want to insert a text box so let's say uh, my this the flowchart that I was trying to create okay it was the how the things they are dealt with in the CH treatment plant if I would like to change my font this is how I can do it okay right I can increase all right and once I've increased I can change my text color depending upon my requirement okay in case if you need to align it, you people can go about, you can center align also. Okay, so this is how you people can go about and you can give your things a name. And text box can be inserted at each and every stage. So let's say if I would like to, this is my stage A, I can go about and I can, you know, 
save you know type in the things over here and individually also so this is how people just by inserting the images you people can go about and you people can make your you know flow charts very very effective you know one of the uh, another important uses uh, even in the organizational chart if I talk about if you're constructing a hierarchy you are creating a flow charts in regards to it for the hierarchical plan you people can insert the images of the individuals also that would give your flow chart a better appeal so now you people can go about you can explore this tool and then you people may go ahead and start making your flow chart lot effective in a much effective manner so thank you very much people for watching today's tutorial in order to make your flowcharts more effective so you people can go about and now designing your flowcharts in a much effective manner by integrating the images which is available in the google search images as well okay and those viewers who are watching my channel for the first time and who have not subscribed to my channel yet i would request you to please quickly go ahead subscribe to cherub teaching center there are more things which are coming up your way right in case if you have any doubts or query you can always reach me on the three platforms which is instagram facebook and microsoft team you can approach me on Instagram on cherub.teaching.center or Facebook on Cherub Teaching Center or Microsoft Teams as Cherubians. And the links of all these three social media is given in the description of the video as well. Thank you very much people for watching today's tutorial. Have a nice day ahead.